You know, we've been talking about fracking since I came into the legislature, which was 2009. And it seems to me that as time is going on, we just seem to be coming up with one more roadblock after another. We've had, you know, first we didn't like the way the regulations were being brought up. Then we didn't like, I mean, there were just so many things that we've had to deal with as far as trying to get this process going. And it's dragged on for so long that, quite frankly, the gas companies that were so excited about the opportunities here are now starting to shift their resources down to other states because they just don't think it's worth the time and effort. And they, quite frankly, don't believe that this process is ever really going to happen. And quite frankly, I share their disappointment and their concern. We talk about New York being open for business. This is a prime example of us not being open for business. This government has done everything they possibly can to stop progress even when it comes down to, multi to ordering multiple different health studies. Yes, maybe the draft regulations, they, they looked at the health studies. We have the Department of Health looking at the uh, DEC's assessment of the health, health impacts. We have the EPA involved. We have other studies at other universities going on. Why we need to have one more study is beyond me. But what's even more concerning about this particular bill is the fact that the language of the bill is too broad. It doesn't specify high volume horizontal fracking. What it's doing is impacting the permitting for any kind of gas extraction, which quite frankly, up in my part of the state, is still a very viable uh, opportunity for people. I've got 32 wells in my district last year. They're doing well. I've talked to the vast majority of these well owners. They, don't, they have not had problems. Why we would structure a bill that would be so broad that would, impact those wells, it makes no sense to me. So uh, while the uh, sponsor has recommended that we can do a clarification, I think what makes, makes a lot more sense and what the people of the state would appreciate is if we finally pass a bill that is in its proper form. For us to pass a bill now and then go back and fix it doesn't say much about our ability here as a state legislature. So please, I, I, I can't tell you how much I'm disappointed that this bill is even coming up, and I recommend a no vote for everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Corwin.